Oh no, look at it. It says tickets and boobers. Tick. T I C K. you watching to another episode uh, of what you watching oh which this should be 679 67 we'll make it six. today we are 60. reviewing ticket uh, i'm not finished to paradise <laughs> welcome to what you're watching i'm zeus you're i'm a mess and we that's are here wife. we're here to make sure that you are informed on everything that's going on in the world of television and film Yes, because that's how we spend our weekends. That's what we do. That's all we do. Losers. Because we're empty nesters and we can do whatever the hell we want. That's right. And on the weekends. sometimes we choose to watch TV. <laughs> yes, we do. And, and sometimes we just have to. Right. Because it's our job. Yes, yes. It's very important. Very important. Actually, it's our volunteer job because we're not getting paid in any way. <laughs> so we really are volunteering to do this job. And it's a lot of work. We're all in this together. Anyway. We are going to talk about Ticket to Paradise. So this is funny because I actually travel back and forth to New York a lot in the East Coast. So I have a lot of time to kill on planes. When you're not working. When I'm not working. So occasionally I'll watch a movie. And one of the movies that I watched was a movie called Ticket to Paradise. I have to tell you though, <laughs> one time Zeus was traveling to New York and he was sleeping and the person behind him knocked on the back of his seat because he was snoring. <laughs> you know, I was working hard. I was coming, I'd come off of a 72 hour turn and burn with about 15 meetings. I was tired. I fell asleep and the and knucklehead and behind me, I was snoring. I, I don't think I was snoring that loud. <laughs> I, you know. I think when someone takes the No, there, it was like, here was my seat. My seat was Dude, like this. You're snoring. Zeus is such an aggressive sleeper. I'm usually pretty good, other than the snoring and the kicking and the... Anyway, but so... You know, it's interesting because I've gotten so many comments from people that say that they're having the same experiences in their marriages, that their husbands are becoming these really aggressive sleepers. Well, I'm not... I, it's not like I... You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be the protector. <laughs> so, Ticket to Paradise, I'm, I'm watching the movie and I'm thinking... Okay. Usually the rom-coms are, you know, a little painful to watch. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to watch this. I like George Clooney, I like Julia Roberts. And I started watching and I thought, this is pretty good. It was enjoyable to watch. And I came home and said, Stephanie, we're going to watch this movie. And she said, I have seen that advertised so many times. There's no way I'm watching that. And I said, I've watched it. And as you know, if you've watched this at all, this is what you're watching the show, I watch everything at least twice, two to three times. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to watch this again because I'm a giver. And I am. Him. And and Stephanie is going to watch it. And what did you think? I like George Clooney. I think he's really funny. But the guy's just sold his tequila company for a billion dollars. He doesn't need the money. No. It was more of like, I'm going to do this for George Clooney. I'm, I'm George Clooney and I'm thinking I'm going to do this for fun. <laughs> And he, you know you're gonna have that funny voice. He and Julia Clooney. Roberts have a good chemistry, right. but I, I honestly, I could live my whole life without ever seeing this movie. I was never planning to see this movie. It's kind of the way I feel about most movies that you suggest. I think that I find the good ones, and you find the shoot 'em up ones, and that makes you happy, and that makes me happy. But anyway, two hours later. It was so cute. First of all, Julia Roberts and uh, George, George Clooney. Clooney have great chemistry. Yeah, I mean, you've and seen how many movies with them together? A lot. It's a cute movie, and the daughter goes to Bali for graduation from law school. She falls in love, she decides to get married, and George Clooney and Julia Roberts were married. Five years. And they hate each other. Yeah. And they like go, literally. They go to Bali to destroy the marriage. And of course, it's so predictable. You know it's gonna happen. They end up bonding. 
They Wait, ended up realizing they spoiler alert. Other. Well, you know, you knew when it started that was what's going to happen. But it was cute. It was funny. It was well acted. The scenery was gorgeous. It really was, it was beautiful. It was a cute story. Did, did you want to go to Bali after that? I did. Absolutely. You clean up pretty good. Empty nester trip. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Anyway, I enjoyed it. I, I thought- It was if there, cute, if surprisingly there, cute. Yeah. Well, how many Lazy Boys? Four. Wow, it's pretty good. It was cute. I have I, nothing bad to say about it. I, you know what? I'm probably between a three and a half and a four. Okay. It's not gonna change the world. No, but it was cute. But it was fun and it was cute. And you know what? There's, there's enough crap going on in the world to just escape. That's the thing. And have some entertainment quality and enjoy it. And it doesn't have to change the world. Just put a smile on your face. But that's the whole thing. And there was a, there was a couple points where I, I laughed and smiled pretty hard. Yeah. So like that one scene. Yes. Very it funny. Reminded of me of you and I. It was very funny. It reminded us. It actually, we got called. Oh, I got a text from a couple we met in Tahiti on our honeymoon 35 years ago. And they were they were married the same day, same at day. the same time. Oh. We need to go out there. And they reached us out to us twice in 35 years, and unfortunately we haven't been able to get together, but we met them on the beach on our honeymoon. Indeed, it was so fun. we got married the same day, the same time. They were in Colorado and we were in California. Yeah. And I think it'd be so great. We're unfortunately, gonna we're gonna be out of town when they reach out yeah. to us, but we're gonna get together with them. Yeah, I've been texting him back and forth going, we, we need to get together. So we're gonna do it. So we're gonna they're get- they're still married. I know, right? 35 and 35 is 70. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna go three and a half. You're gonna go four. I'm gonna go four because it really just made me smile. And you know what? And I've seen it twice and I'm still doing three and a half. How about that? Yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the like button. Make sure you comment. If you've been to Bali and any place that you think we should go and maybe all meet up, I think we should do it. I would go just about anywhere. I know we are just so easy. I really would just go just We're about so easy. Anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I just like to go places. And if we do an empty nester cruise, would you come? Put that in the comments. Yeah. A lot of people have said they would. I know. Depends on where it is and what it costs. What's the most you would spend? Where would you go? How many I days would you be there? we should make it reasonable and just do something fun and just get everybody together and smile and have laughs. That would be fun. And we'll record us some shows, get some people on and have have some fun. And Julia Roberts and George Clooney will come. They will, because we're like this. Yeah, because they're going to go on a carnival cruise with us for three days to <laughs> Bali. <laughs> because we're going to be drinking Casamigos. It's right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great week. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to comment. And you know what? We'll see you next week on another episode of What You Watch. What You Watch. What You Watch. What You Watch. No, what, what are you watching? I'm watching everything. All right, let's go home to our dog.